Hello everyone, thanks for tuning back in. This is the Modern Geek, also known as Vant Mario. I'm sorry for our... Alright, just double checking we don't have latency issues anymore. Oh, we kind of do a little bit... Ah, damn it. So it's when we go live, it starts to get a little bit latent. Alright, so... Um, I apologize. I wanted to see if we had some latency issues. I don't know. My computer is being really, really weird tonight. I don't know if it's a Twitch thing or a me thing or... If you guys are noticing other streamers having having some issues, I, my whole system is just not doing what it's supposed to do. I think I might have to do some updates um, on it, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna play with it, see what we could do. Um, but it seems like there's some latency. So what we were talking about was a game by the name of MetaZoo. Um, that was kind of our warm-up leading into our painting. Um, it was a game that I found uh, at my local gaming shop. It's new. I've heard a lot of weird, interesting things about it. Um, and I wanted to open some packs. Just kind of some fun for tonight. Because I know we usually do an RPG or board game show. And uh, this was kind of helping to do that. Um, I did post up our Discord chat. Um, I will put that link back up again. Okay, so... There is definitely something going on with my live stream app. Um, so we will do our best to try to give you the best content as possible. Um, it's very, very odd that it just keeps like loading. Um, I don't know why, but it doesn't seem to be having, I mean, there might be some latency. If there is, I really do apologize, but yeah, it's just super weird. Like everything is like misloading or whatever. It looks like my bit rate is like all over the place. Although I am getting that it's excellent, the uh, stream, so I don't know. There's just all kinds of crazy stuff happening. But um, here, let me just do this. All right, so let me do, let me repost some stuff. So we have our Discord invitation link. Um, I'm going to repost that. Um, and if you go into there, I've also posted uh, a meta link. Uh, to the Meta Meta Zoo game, so you can take a look at that. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with my like streaming stuff. I'll have to do like some updates and just like refresh some stuff. But uh, so this is Meta Zoo. These are the cards. Um, and I was saying it before, and I may have to do a reset. So sorry for the hit my wonderful arm you just saw a lot of. I'm just gonna get our yeah our focus on our camera in the right spot. So yeah, so uh, it is, uh, I was saying before, it's very reminiscent of how Magic used to be when it first came out. Um, and it apparently is made by people who made Magic or Magic players. I think that's what it is. I think people like, it's made by people who played Magic. So it has a little bit of a Magic flair to it, but also does like Yu-Gi-Oh kind of stuff. So you have resources in this game that you tap. Um, they call them auras instead of, uh, I believe they call them auras instead of mana. Um, to summon things, so you kind of you do have that mechanic in here, like other games. Um, I noticed there are some limitations of how many, uh, you know, spell books you are throwing spells at each other, like two wizards fighting. So it has that element. Um, so we have avalanche three per spell book, all non, and that's a resource. Beasties without flying, I'm gonna guess, are inflicted with something. Um, so there's a lot of symbols in this game. Um, which is a maybe okay, maybe not okay. Uh, beasties affected by this spell are dealt 20 damage. So it's like you kind of a direct damage spell. And again, casting, that's what you need to cast the spell. So if you look at the top, that is what you need resource wise to cast it. So we got Avalanche. Again, I have no clue how to do anything. I've watched one or two videos. Uh, I don't know many folks of, that are around me that have the cards. Um, so I can't say if, uh, if this is good or not. The colors are extremely vibrant. The artwork is kind of cool. There's some cool different styles of artwork in here. And again, very reminiscent of Age 1 Magic. Uh, forest Element, 4 per spell book. Date of birth, 700 BC. Oh, that has like stats for them. That's kind of cool, like flavor stats. Um, day of, I'm going to guess her forest. 
Oh, I guess they have, like, so they have kind of Pokemon stats where they have weaknesses and strengths. Let's see. Forest element protected beasties from the elements serving as their queen of all. So they have, like, there's just a lot going on in this card. There's, like, flavor text. There's, like, other stuff. Okay. Laser beam gun upgrade. And, again, that's another thing about this game. There's a lot of different influences in it. I don't know what common uncommon cards look like i think i know what rare cards look like equip this artifact to target beastie equip beastie gains the text you may fatigue this beastie fatigue in this game is tapping so they call it fatiguing um if you do target beastie or caster loses three life points 30 life points and again there are life points like in Yu-Gi-Oh, so it's kind of like that same feel the ocean calls three per spell book all right. Alien Bigfoot. And again, that's another thing about MetaZoo. It kind of plays with the idea of uh, some of the, like... Um, God, these cards are so slick. Oh, Jesus. They're so slick. And I'm trying to keep them not in the light. Uh, they're very glossy, too. Um, Cryptex are, like, a big thing in this game. Flare Up. So it looks like another direct damage spell. And this is the UFO set, which is why it all has the little spaceship on it. Um, token Corruption. Again, very reminiscent of beginning art of Magic. Magic had art like this because literally the first Magic cards were like done by college kids. So it was like paid for free art that was just on the cards, which is insane to me. Um, token cor Corruption, you may con contact... Con Sure. Okay. Now this, I think, is our rare cards. So it looks like we got two rare cards in this pack. And it seems they have kind of a Pokemon sort of feel where they have like foils and reverse foils. I'm sorry, guys. The, these cards are so glossy. Um, I'm definitely going to like this differently if I do this again. So I do thank you guys for bearing with me. I also feel like my... Is my camera not focusing? Oh, Jesus. Everything is, like, not going right tonight. At all. I feel like my camera is not... I don't know. It's hard to tell because I'm seeing it in such a small window. Um, if you shake hands with the opposing caster before you control this page... Okay, and there are that's another thing. There are meta things in this game, so I like that. That's pretty. Uh, create two friend tokens. Okay, uh, I'm guessing that's actually a good card. And then we got a non-foiled rare, which is Palmolo. Palmolo. While this beastie is awakened, snow, I guess, is active. Again, very like Yu-Gi-Oh kind of attacks. Interesting. I'm guessing the stars mean that. Then it looks like we have seed tokens. That's a token card. Then we have snowing. So I guess that's... I think these are tokens for that or conditional cards. And then you get a forest aura, which is like your um, resources like land. And I think you get one of these per, per pack. We have five packs we're opening. I thought this would be a good start to the video. Again, I have no idea what to expect out of these cards. I'm just trying to see if there's a rhyme or reason to like... So many symbols. Um, cosmic lightning clone. So it looks like it has a trap activation to it, which is kind of interesting. Oh my god, Mike the headless chicken. Oh lord, that's a, that's weird. Robot flowers. Like the cards are just wacky as hell. We have Sabertooth Tiger. 
We have Blue Jet Strike. We have Polybus. A new game. You and the target opposing caster each reveal a page from the top of your respective spell books. One at a time until either caster reveals a page. This way with a lower point printed or a cost than the other page. Both must have an aura cost. Uh, the caster with the lower printed aura cost who has no pages left in the spell book real deals 20 damage. Okay. So you're like putting them, you're taking them off and then hitting yourself, which is weird. Um, white stag, which looks so much like a Patronus from Harry Potter. I don't know if that was what they were going for for the artwork, but it looks a lot like that. Um, <laughs> We did get a foiled rare, which is Luchi, uh, Lucuza, which looks like a pretty robust beast. Hex Curse, uh, Luring Look. So target beastie is dealt 25 damage for each status effect that it is affected with. Uh, the, this beastie loses the tribe witch and gains the chibi. The beastie's name becomes chibi, okay. So it, like, loses a condition. Uh, you may choose a status effect on the opposing BC attack in the arena. Uh, primary defeat. Okay, so you can make the effects happen, and then it hits for more damage. That's interesting. So I believe that's a rare, and I believe this is a rare, which is spiky, slushy. Very Pokemon look for each... Certain type of beastie you control, you may inflict target beastie for each lightning beastie you control, you may inflict. So, oh, I say they're damage tokens. That's crazy. Um, cannonball token, which I guess is one of the cards creates that. Um, that's a location, I think, because locations play a role. And then we got another aura. These cards are insane. There's so much going on in this game. It's just crazy to me to try to learn how to play this. I mean, I guess if I... Again, if you play Magic, it should have... Okay. There's just weird, interesting cards happening. All right, so we have... Breakfast alien, so an alien that brings you a breakfast burrito, I think. Interesting. We have invigorate. Okay, I guess when you go to a stream, you're invigorating yourself. Did my music stop? I think my music did stop. Because everything on this stream is going to break tonight. Uh, laser gun upgrade, we got that before. Uh, speed demon we have the bookmark blue interesting reveal the top four pages of your spell book place the two of the reveal pages on top or bottom of your spell book place the other two pages into your chapter again don't know how to play this dwarf star Oh, that's interesting. So there's a, if there is a star-shaped necklace within eyesight, it's considered active. So there has to be a necklace for you to... What the hell? Unless it's another card. Uh, we got another white stag, which I really think they were trying to go for a Patronus in Harry Potter. Then we got green fireball. If you are in New Mexico, U.S., Okay, so there literally are meta effects. If you're in New Mexico, this card costs less to cast. That's really funny. Whatever thing caster loses their final counter, the caster loses. Tw okay. That's, I believe, I don't know if this was a rare card or not, but it's foily. Then we have glistening beach rock. You may fatigue this artifact at any time to generate one. And one, so I guess resources. You may not con uh, control more than two artifact essences in the arena. And then we have another seed token. 
We have a fearful fog. Special, yeah, Terra. Uh, so, a uh, special Terra. So there's like other special conditional things, and then we got a frost aura. Again, that would be like our land for folks that are magic players and familiar with playing magic. Ooh, those pack opens. They're very, very shiny packs, too. This is so weird. All right. So we got Devoid, Devoid Potion. You may contract contract this page at any time. All non-Aura and non-Terra pages are considered whatever pages <laughs> while being contracted till end of this turn. Okay. Headless Cannoneer, con uh, excuse me. Arena, if there is a full moon within eyesight, this beast, this beastie's destroyed effect creates two tokens instead of one. So there's all these meta effects on cards, which is pretty interesting. Lightning Spark. Uh, you may contract this page at any time. Target artifact is dealt. Okay, 50 damage. We got Sabertooth Tiger last time. Uh, Kodiak Dinosaur. Okay. Dusk Omen. Dusk's Omen. Contract this Dark Beastie with flying from your chapter for five less aura for each moon. Terra bonus this beastie has. Place on opposing beastie into its owner's chapter. Tin foil hat. That's pretty funny. Um, being that it's UFOs. All right, the level land rock. The level land rocket um, contract target up to two opposing artifacts. Those artifacts do not awaken until the end of the next turn. Um, Light speed. Send a beastie to the afterlife. Tar afterlife is your um, graveyard in this game. Target two opposing beasties and inflict them with. Uh, the coin for for both is considered heads. Okay. That's interesting. Then we got frozen rain orb destroyed until the end of active caster's next turn. Uh is active target beast or caster loses 20 lp and then we have a tree token we have an ocean and we have a frost aura and again that ocean is a terra and that can give bonuses to your cards which is part of what it is so it's like terraforming the arena okay what do we have here these cards are just insanity in half I have no clue what any of this means um, dozing off target non-opposing VC this VC is afflicted with sleep at the end until the end of your next turn so I'm assuming like not in tapping Mike the headless chicken we got that wolf among sheep places target VC with two or less aura cost into this owner's chapter the next beastie werewolf you control costs three less. So I guess you can put him in a werewolf deck. That's interesting. Um, thunder and ice. Oh, that's pretty funny. Um, arid drought. Energy being. Whirling wimpus. If you control, if you control no other whirling wimpus, the next beastie uh, Sasquatch you control turn a cost. Okay, so he helps other Sasquatch-like beings. Drowned Sea Orb, destroy until the end of the active caster's next turn. Is active target beastie or casty loses. So you can basically pop this to hit things for damage. Um, and then protect Valley Monster. Arena, whenever an opposing caster contacts a spell, awaken this beastie. So he kind of gets put into effect when you cast something. Tree token, 
Suburban, and Light Aura. Again, I thought this would be fun to open. I have no clue if any of the cards we pulled are worth it. Um, I was intrigued by this because it is a first edition or series of cards, and it's a new game. Um, and like I said, I watched a little bit online about the game, and it plays very much like Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! So I'm intrigued or possibly interested in giving it a try. But uh, let me know if you guys want to see more MetaZoo uh, content by either direct messaging or talking to us on Discord. Um, and we can talk more about if it's something you want to see. Um, I am so sorry, guys. I'm having, like, so many technical difficulties right now. Um, let me just see something. I'm having like multiple failures on my computer. My computer doesn't seem to want to work correctly. I feel like my camera and other things are not focusing. So like this whole setup tonight just seems not as polished as we normally have. Like it seems like my computer is like glitching a little bit. So I'm going to have to do some like checking out. So if you guys feel like this stream is a little scratchy or bumpy... Um, I do apologize for that. Just uh, post up in the comments. Let me know if it's affecting the way you're seeing it. Um, thanks for being with us. But yeah, it just seems like it's weird because it's saying I'm streaming well and with excellent. And I did a test before I went back live. Things seemed fine. But the minute I went live, it doesn't seem fine. Um, and I'm wondering, I might have a theory. Oh, Jesus as I destroy my computer and everything that God holds dear in this stream. Okay, I'm just having the time of my life tonight, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, so there's definitely a latency with what you guys are seeing and what's going on. Um, all right, so what we might have to do is, let me just do something really quick. So we're going to, okay, so we only have one thing running now. So um, for, yeah, I think, okay, so apparently uh, my computer is like freaking out when I do the music and I do that. So we're going to have a quieter stream, but we will have a better polished and looking stream because I think you guys seeing me paint and seeing the model are probably more likely to be happy. I don't even know if you guys like when I have the music in the background. I do it because honestly, it's just me quietly then not uh, streaming stuff. Um, and I thought it would be better. But uh, like I said, I think I just have to do some updates and refresh some things because I think... Um, nope. It's still doing it. Wow. So what is going on? Alright. So it's probably the video. I think just everything needs a break. Is what I think is happening here. Um, cool. We'll just we'll uh, we're gonna figure some things out. All right. So we'll just bear with it for tonight. Um, but anyway, we were painting um, our vampire counts. Um, we were specifically working on one of the hero characters for Age of Sigmar. Uh, and I'm so happy if you guys stay with us and join us. I know we spent a lot of time doing some random stuff. Um, but I promise we'll get back on track. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to use some ba Balthazar gold uh, to print some of our to print to paint some of our elements, some of our armor elements, uh, so we can start getting some of that done. Uh, and I talked about this on the last stream when we did part one uh, of some of the plans of how we were going to do this, and uh, I kind of came up with this idea of sort of like an old horror movie-esque vampires, but also doing kind of punky vampires. So um, I hope you guys find this interesting uh, and you find the color scheme interesting. So I am going like kind of away from, I guess, traditional uh, vampire counts to, uh, to kind of try something different. Um, And what I loved last night is that I know when we were talking about that, a few folks that were watching were like, I never follow the uh, the instructions. Or, or they're, they're less like likely to uh, uh, follow the, the painting examples. They just like 
kind of do what they want, and they kind of just go on their own journey, which I thought was kind of fun. Um, obviously, now that we've turned off the music, please let me know, guys, if, like, my mic is working okay and the audio is not choppy. Um, because, like I said, I was testing all the levels and stuff before, and it seemed to be working okay, but uh, I'm not trusting anything I tested because it worked all okay before I, like, hit live, so... Obviously, my computer is, like, having a little bit of a problem. So, uh, we're just going to have to work through it. And, uh, I'll have to do some... Some computer testing and engineering. Um, it is extremely hot in my studio. And I hope that that is not causing some performance issues with some of my equipment. Which I think it might be. Uh, and I hope it did not damage my equipment. Because... You know, we've had a little bit more heat than I'm normally used to down here. And I think I might have to start uh, investing in uh, maybe a temperature control system down here. Because it is not... Uh, it's not as conducive as it once was. Um, so that really sucks if that's true. Or it just might be the fact that, like, everything on my computer just needs to be, like, updated. Because sometimes, um, I know that's happened to me before where I, uh, I'll be streaming, uh, and I have not updated, like, um, my, uh, uh, I haven't, I have, I will update by accident my, um, streaming software, and then I haven't done updates to, like, my just generic computer, and, uh, actually causing problems when I'm trying to go live and stream. It looks like it's doing better now, so I think turning the, I think having the music off um, for right now was probably a good idea. Um, it's possible even that music program that I'm using, they might, I hope they're not doing what I think they're doing, but they might be making it not work well. Um, on purpose. Which sometimes apps do that because that app that I use does have like a free mode and a paid for mode. And I think maybe they might be making, they might be making the bit rate or the uh, performance rate worse for the free mode, which I know a lot, a lot of apps that do that, uh, especially apps for, you know, like streaming or audio or video stuff. Uh, that, that is a trend. Because they want the they want those free view uh, free viewers they want those free users to, to upgrade to the pro version. Um, I think that is a horrible thing to do to people because uh, for a lot of us, especially myself, who is been I've been doing this for a while, but I'm still I would still say I'm in that beginning category. Um, it is nice. When companies think of like low level people, um, because to just to, to get started in something like streaming, um, you can't be spending a ton of money all over the place because the equipment alone, uh, you know, you might want to splurt. Oh, Jesus. All right. So I'm having not a good time with my brushes tonight. I feel like my whole environment is like not, it's too hot in here. I think the paint's not working well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do some serious like rethinking of certain things here, because uh, I think that the the environment that I'm painting in, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna have to like actually really like go get. Uh, like, I'm going to have to look into, like, a ductless, like, cooling system or something for this room. Because I'm going to have to actually invest in, like, a better air conditioner. Because I think that's what is causing a lot of these problems, is the heat. Um, as crazy as it sounds, I even noticed... Um, and this is actually a good, like, hobby tip. Um, I've even noticed some areas that I've kept paints in... Uh, where it's been just way too hot and you actually have to be very careful 
because your paints can evaporate. The water inside the paints can actually evaporate if the area you're keeping them is too hot. Um, so you you have to be pretty careful with uh, with some of your stuff. Um, so this Balthazar Gold, I think, looks super awesome. Um, again, I'm just going for this like I want this like really like noir horror look but i want to give them like punky features so that's why they have like punky hair they have punky everything but i want it to still have that like old horror look um so i'm just like kind of going for which i think is like super insanely cool um and i love this like i love this a lot Like, because they just look, they look so, like, out there and crazy. Now, it could also be just my camera, but I even my camera, like, nub that I'm using, it got, like, super hot. So, I think there's just some bad stuff going on with this. So, we, I, I might just, I might cut my losses for tonight, because I know this was, like, a second painting video, because we did... Uh, a nice painting video for you guys uh, on Tuesday for Warhammer. Um, but I'm going to... I may just paint for a little bit more and then uh, do some troubleshooting before I go so I can give you guys maybe some weekend content. Um, because like I said, I'm just... I'm, I'm kind of annoyed because it's just nothing is working correctly right now. Um, and it's just... It's kind of frustrating me. Um, and I don't know what to do. And uh, I think... I don't want you guys to see, like, subpar content from us. Um, I I want you to come back, and I don't want you to watch a video with all this, like, choppiness. Um, and then kind of judge that as our, like, standard. Because our videos are not normally like that. I don't know why tonight it just decided to, like, legit crap the bed. So, I'll, I'll like I said, I'll, I'll probably look into... God. Sorry guys, I'm when when I have issues like what I'm having now and I like am trying to fix them and it's not like going well, it just it really brings down my like <sighs> my motivation because it's like I want to produce good content for you guys. And I obviously want you all to come back and see us. And I feel like this is the stuff that makes us, like, keep having that, like, problem with, like, breaking through to the next level. Because you guys probably watch these and go, like, well, I'm not going to watch this guy again. Like, his, his, his video is, like, crashing. God only knows if my audio is working. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I just came to my computer and it just like started being really weird tonight. Like last night, perfect. We did um We did a stream on uh my my other PC. That worked fine. Um I'm almost at the level where I might I might look into using my uh, my desktop PC rather than this, but I would just have to route everything to it, and that's what the really like hard part would be. But um, I'm actually gonna I may explore doing that because I don't know what's going on, on my laptop, but I'm gonna see about uh, like I said, just double checking that there's no updates available or things available to uh, to make this a better experience. But yeah, it's just like I don't understand what the hell is going on. It's just super weird. It just doesn't make any sense because it's like. You know, I didn't change a damn thing and it's like already like going nuts, which is weird. So my. My like detective Spidey sense is tingling that maybe there might be some updates for stuff that I have to just do. Um. And like I said, usually those up, 
all the update stuff stems from uh it usually stems from the fact that there is a uh there's a general update and then once i do that general update then i have to update all the other stuff or the opposite there was i did an update on something and didn't do the system update and that's why it's not showing the correct stuff um I don't know. Actually, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do... I think we're going to do silver on the big outside, and we're going to do gold on the inside. Maybe, maybe we're fine. I don't know. I feel like once I stopped the music, that did actually help the situation because now I'm getting like better video. Um, I don't know. You guys can tell me better. Yeah, this is a tough paint because this this whole like thing. I so I want what I want to kind of do is have some of it gold and some of it silver, so it kind of looks um, a little bit more interesting. Um, beside you know than just doing all gold. So what I'm trying to do is give like an interweaving. like gold like so they'll be like silver and interweaved gold in there so it's kind of like two-toned but uh i have to sort of figure this out it's a lot of like overlapping crazy colors so it's like it's a little challenging to paint yeah i don't know it seems to be coming out okay. So I think it's just, I've had this happen before where my preview looks bad, but the actual video looks fine. So I think I'm overreacting. It's just my preview, but because I try to do a double blind to see, but I feel like potentially when I had the music on, it was like really, really bad. But um, I, you know, I don't know. Because I feel like when I did my my uh, my two my two system check, I feel like I was seeing lag on the other uh, example because my bit rate. But again, I don't know if that's if uh, if Twitch is just having. I, I didn't see anything that said like Twitch is having maintenance or like any other stuff. So I don't know if that's a problem as well. Because I know that, you know, that could be an also true thing where I'm sitting there going like it's my fault, but then maybe it's like Twitch itself is just having like. A slower night or. And then God only knows if I'm loading or seeing you guys correctly or if I'm able to see all the other things that are going on. I'm 
so like it, so I say it now to everybody on the stream if you have posted up a comment and I have not responded to it uh, I am very sorry I probably am not seeing them because I'm having just so many you know other uh, <laughs> computer issues right now and like I said I'm just my goal right now is just to get through at least a little bit more painting for you guys and then we can and then my hope is when I when we uh, say goodbye tonight I could I get on to uh, my computer and I'll just like take a look and see uh, what the potential issue is that is causing all of this like crazy crazy performance issues um, But like I said, usually the culprit is uh, just needing to do updates because uh, I don't use I only use this computer when we do painting stuff. So I don't always um, stay up on my updates like I should. So. I'm not liking, I'm not 100% sold on the silver. It actually doesn't look that good. So probably going to do this over in like either black or maybe the space gray, space wolf gray. Um, Cause I really don't like the way the silver looks. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't pop. Now again, there is some purple missing. So maybe if I had the purple in there, but uh, it's just not hitting the mark where I want it to, but it's kind of cool if you put the space gray, space, Souls gray on top of that because you actually get a kind of a cool quality so i'm going to try that um and see if i like it better because right now i'm just not sold on that silver it, it just it's too flat it doesn't look very good uh, i'll let it dry and then we'll, we can try out the the other thing but let's get some of that purple in there that's missing um so we don't have any of that like competing white in there because right now that's that is hurting our overall idea. So let's get the purple in there. Um, Cause that might make my decision of liking that, um, that silver a little bit better. Cause right now it's, uh, it's definitely competing with that white so you can see the minute that i start putting the purple in we're getting a much better quality because now there's a sharper color that's in there um because a lot of this i i sort of quick painted last night whoa yeah so i got to be careful because I'm, I'm getting a little messy but <laughs> but you can start to see now the silver kind of has a better life because I'm getting that white out of there. Because that's, I was saying it last night, like when you have white prime models and you leave, you don't like completely get to the edge of something. That is what you end up seeing. You'll see something that it looks, it doesn't look like it's finished. So you'll, you'll have like, almost like a blurriness because you're seeing that white through those holes and it's like distracting you from the colors. Yeah, so you can see just how better that looks just by having the purple all like colored in properly. Now, because I went a little hot and heavy with that, I will probably have to go back in and do a little bit more um, gray on top of areas. But yeah, it definitely looks better with the purple. So now the silver 
is sort of growing on me a little bit more than it was a minute ago. Because, yeah, once you have the proper, like, you really have painted in that purple, right? It looks a lot better. Usually the purple and the silver look really good. Because I do it with a lot of the undead models. Um, so, I wa that combination's been proven to work very well for me. Um, so, I wasn't as worried about it, but... Yeah, again, it says excellent. I don't know why it's a, it says excellent. Maybe I'm just overreacting. Uh, again, if you guys on the chat could let me know if... Uh, and I'm praying to God that my audio this entire time hasn't working yet. It has. Um, if, 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 in fact... Uh, if you felt that when the music was playing, we were still getting a good stream, um, that would be super helpful. I feel like... Oh. Okay, no, I'm I'm right. So we are getting like we are getting like choppy stream. Yeah, so it is it yeah, it it is latency. Or it is, it is like you guys are getting like a staggered picture or you're getting, it's like it, it sometimes is getting staggered. Because we're losing the bit rate. I don't know why we're losing the bit rate. I'm just doing some tests to see because I'm probably going to call it quits for tonight because we're having so many like technical issues. But um. So I'm kind of doing some like tilting and stuff. Now it seems to be fluid. I don't know. I mean, I guess yeah, yeah. You guys have to weigh in and tell us. Um. I don't know. You guys would be a better judge than me. Again, I'm looking at like multiple monitors and it looks good on the one that is like the live one. So I don't know. So I'm looking at two computers, two different computers looking at the same thing. And the one that would be more the live one are, uh... oh wait, did I just pick up the yellow instead of the orange? Ha <laughs> ha, yes I did. I was like sitting there going like, why does that look yellow instead of orange? And I answered my own question. Um, I don't know if I'll like that or not. Let's see. That, that might be a happy accident, but I might actually like that. Because it's actually drawing attention to the outs inner side of the eye. Which actually will make it look interesting and a little bit better. I kind of like that actually. Okay. We might keep that. I might, I'll, I'll do a little bit of trimming just to get like the very, very bottom to be orange, but I might actually like the line to be yellow because it kind of looks cool. Yeah, so what I mean by that is like, above the eye and maybe like around yeah eh. it's, it's interesting so it's got a little bit of yellow inside of it now i don't know if i like that or not i'm still trying to debate if i do i think i don't i don't know it's kind of interesting it's got like a two-tone color now i just wanted to get that painted just trying to do like little things just to get like little stuff done um there is a lot more we have to do in this model. And once I get everything properly working, we will totally do that. I just am annoyed that, like, it's not working. So I don't want to, like I said, give you guys, like, a crappy thing. My, my bit rate seems to be in the middle, but I still am seeing... Yeah, there's definitely, like, latency. Shit. Ah, that sucks. I don't know why there's latency to things. Now, um, like I said, I think... I'm, I, I pray that there's a piece of equipment that didn't just break on me. Um, I have some alternative ideas if it did, but 
it would be real bad because the quality of that is a lot better than the other one I have. Um, but if I have to temporarily use it just to get through a little bit more of the next couple of days, I might have to. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. I don't know. I'll have to watch the videos back and see if there's latency in them. Um, all right, cool. So... I'm sorry to cut this video short, guys, but like I said, because we're having so many of these issues tonight, um, I'm going to just leave it there. We got to take a look at MetaZoo, which was pretty fun, and we got to do a little bit more painting on this wonderful vampire. Uh, so we got a lot of the goal work done. Um, we're going to do more in there. Uh, already loving how this is coming out. We have a great tone and fun there. Oh, I have all that hair to paint. Um, so I like this aesthetic, this sort of punk uh, classic horror aesthetic that we're doing for the vampires. I'm going to do this throughout all of my vampires, so they'll be uniform. I think it looks really cool. And I talked about last time how this is also going to be very conducive of doing it for uh, Ravenloft. So if I ever wanted to use these for that Ravenloft environment in D&D, &D, uh, it's going to be very helpful to do that. So uh, thank you all for watching. Um, please come and see us live. I will work out all of our kinks and bugs and get all this stuff working. I don't know why it's having so many problems today. Um, but thank you guys for watching. If you are uh, a local viewer and viewer that comes back and sees us all the time, please consider sharing this video out with other people, getting them onto the bandwagon and the channel. Um, I promise to get great content for you guys and just bear with us. I'm trying every day to get better and better and to get better and better things for us. Um, but like I said, I'm just having some weird, weird issues with my computer. I don't know what is going on. So I may have to reroute my painting videos in a different way and we will consider and figure that out. But um, again, uh, this video could not be possible without Undiscovered Realms, uh, my sponsor for the video. They are awesome guys. Um, please check out their store. They got uh, I have a link to them. Their uh, shop, um, you can shop online, even if you don't live in the New York area, which is where I'm based out of. Um, but you, they'll ship anywhere in the United States, so please check them out. Um, and check out my website and Patreon, um, some great monetary ways to support me. I'm a commissioned painter as well as commissioned artist. Uh, you can also check out my Patreon, which is my indie comic stuff, um, which we are going to have our first full installment of some of that work next Wednesday on our random creative show. Um, you're going to see some more of that work, um, but you can support that Patreon, and that Patreon will, of course, support this content and producing more and more of it. So thank you.